Let me share a secret with you. There are only four steps required to have a great flying INAV fixed wing airplane model. All that you have to have are good model, good weather, good tune, great servo trim. The correct servo trim or rather the control surface trim is the position in which servo and the control surface should stay when we want our airplane to fly straight without losing or gaining altitude and without banking to any of the sides. Super critical when flying without a flight controller or in the manual flight mode. When flying with the flight controller and enabled stabilization, it's maybe no longer critical, but it's still very important to have a nice, stable and responsive flight. Because if you trimmed the servos and the control surfaces correctly, the flight controller and the PID controllers will not have to fight to have a nice level flight. It will just have to do less for the model to fly better. Luckily, INAV have something that is called the servo auto trim that takes care of the trimming of all the control surfaces for you. So you don't have to do it manually. Okay, you can if you really want to, but why when the INAV can do it for you? But okay, how to do it? Luckily, it's relatively simple. Step one, assign the auto trim flight mode to one of the switches on your radio. Step two, take off, climb to the safe altitude and fly level, probably with the throttle somewhere in the middle. You can do it in the acro or level flight mode. It's not really that important. My recommendation is to do it in the acro flight mode, but if you really, really, really want to do it with the angle on the horizon, you can. Then, when you are flying level with the throttle somewhere in the middle position, just flip the switch that engages the servo auto trim. Your fixed wing airplane should be flying level by itself. During the next few seconds, INAF engine will gather the data on which positions on which servos were required for the level flight and will set those values as the initial midpoints for the servos, aka it will perform the servo trimming. And then when this is done, there is only one thing for you to do. Do not, and I mean it, do not disable the servo auto trim flight mode. If you disable the mode, the previous trims will be restored. What you have to do now is to land and disarm. When you will disarm with the auto trim flight mode still enabled, INAV will automatically save your new servo midpoints. You do not have to do anything else besides landing and disarming while still having the auto trim mode on. And that's all. Auto trimming was done and new settings are persisted in the EPROM memory. Next time when you will take off and fly, they will just be there for you. Write in the comments on what you think about the recent INAV development. I would like to know if you think that we are going in the right direction. I think we do, but I love to have some kind of the proof. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!